This tutorial is all about why we cook food and the changes that occur in eggs, meat and potatoes when they are cooked. So why do we bother cooking? Here we have some chips and a nice roast uh, chicken and some rice and some flaming beef burgers. Why do we bother cooking them in the first place? The sort of reasons why we do cook food is to improve its taste and its texture and to kill any microorganisms that might be lurking there. But of course cooking is just a branch of chemistry and cooking has chemical reactions because new products are made which can't be changed back into those which we started with. We're going to look specifically at eggs and meat and the protein molecules uh, in those foods and what happens to them when they are cooked and then at higher level we're going to look at those changes in more detail and also why potato is easier to digest if it's cooked. So let's start off with eggs. When you cook an egg, various changes occur that you can see. For example, the white part of the egg, the albumin, goes harder and more jelly-like and turns white and the yolk again turns more solid. So why do eggs change in this way when they're cooked? Well, eggs contain proteins and these protein molecules are long chains of amino acids like polymers which wrap themselves up into these complex globular structures, these little balls which then dissolve well in the liquid of the egg. These globules are held together by these intermolecular forces that you can see here drawn as red little lines. Now these are overcome by the heat when the egg is cooked and that causes the molecules to unravel as in this second picture. But as the egg is cooked even more these individual molecules then start to join together with other molecules with again intermolecular forces and this forms a big three-dimensional structure like a huge network and this is what makes the protein in the egg turn solid. An identical process happens when meat is cooked. Meat also contains these similar proteins and when the meat is cooked it changes its texture because these individual globular proteins unravel and form into this new three-dimensional structure. We say that the protein is being denatured it's changing its shape permanently. When potatoes are cooked, they become softer and easier to digest. Potatoes contain a great deal of starch and the starch is found in these starch grains which are in each of the individual cells. Now as the potatoes cooked in warm water, the starch grains start to swell up and become larger, in fact so large that they no longer will fit easily within the cell. At the same time the cell walls which are made out of cellulose start to weaken and break open and these two things combined cause the cell walls to be broken for the starch grains to escape and for the whole potato to have a much more uh, soft structure and texture. You'll know that if you let potatoes cook for too long, you end up with a thick, gloopy mess. And this gloopiness, if you like, is what's caused when the starch molecules escape into the cooking water and they make a sort of glue, if you like. So cooked potatoes are easy to digest for two reasons. First of all, the cell walls are easier to break open with the teeth. And secondly, the starch grains have swollen and have become softer. Here's a past GCSE question. It says Nick's cooking an egg. He chooses to fry the egg. Frying an egg is a chemical change. Explain why. Well, you might say that new substances are made. You might say the changes are not reversible. 
Write down two reasons why foods need to be cooked before they're eaten. Well, one might be to kill any microorganisms. And another reason might be to change the texture or make them easier to digest. I wouldn't recommend writing three answers, but I've written three here because there's probably three acceptable answers on the mark scheme. The second part of the question here says eggs are a good source of protein. Explain the changes that happen to an egg when it's cooked. Your answer should include what happens to the protein molecules and the name of the process that changes the protein molecules. Well, what happens to the protein molecules is that the molecules unravel and make a new 3D structure with attractions between them. And for the second part, this is called denaturing.